The road she traveled. And her women who made a difference. Aquila Kids gift to our community. Women's Equalities in Education, Shirley has portrayed by Nicole. Elected as school president in the seventh grade and by promising to put Coca-Cola in the water fountains, I was amused with the idea and thought it would be entertaining to run for school president and not knowing about women's equality in education. But one day I had found out about women's equality in education. I became very interested. I'm a women's issues activist one of the founders and organizers of the Lacrosse Women's Political Caucus and the first coordinator of the local group. One of the goals that we are very excited about in the Women's Political Caucus is to get women to become more active in politics because not that many women are in leadership roles. The goal is to increase the number of women in elective office and in appointive office. Another goal is to get them more involved in political parties of their choosing so that they can be more than envelope stuffers and stamp lickers. But the major goal is to raise women's concerns in all matters of political policy. Bella Abzug was a main speaker at a convention that we went to in Madison. She inspired us to go back and start caucus. Seven of us came back from Madison and started a third congressional district organizing meeting. And out of that meeting came three local caucuses, one of which became the district organizing committee that I became the first coordinator of the local group. When the word politics comes to mind, I think about what the word means to me, that it's an honest and healthy use of power to achieve effective goals. In 1985, I ran for the La Crosse City Council and served two terms and decided not to run for the third. However, I did continue on the La Crosse Redevelopment Authority Committee and I was eager and enthusiastic about becoming the League of Women Voters president, but I had long put it off because of being so active in other things. While one of my many roles was education, I also believed in good government. At one of the universities, I had just developed a program for women seeking new directions in life. It is designed for women who are not as involved outside of the home. In the 1960s, more awareness for women was being raised. And I became very aware of how college women had many more rules and restrictions than men did. When I was assistant dean of women, one of my friends had realized that women had a curfew and men didn't. Then why do men have different rules and restrictions than women? This question was one of my many focuses in my role of education. Here we are in 2006, and women are still trying to become as equal as men in every aspect of our lives. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.